Let's take a look at the best ejections and the worst plays from umpires during the 2021 season that I did breakdowns on. If you've got one that we didn't choose for this and you think we missed it, leave it in the comment below. Put the little timestamp. Everyone clicks those. Your brain can't not click a timestamp in YouTube comments. You're like, oh, what did that person find funny? I need to go look at this one. So do that. Everyone will click it. This video is brought to you by Sports Management Worldwide. If you want a future in the sports world, you got to check them out. Here we go. Scherzer's like, are you serious? Really? You checked me twice already. Okay, here you go. Here's my hat. Here's my belt. Here's my pants. I'm just like, come on, stop, 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 stop. Save that for later. He just wants us to touch your head a little bit. And Scherzer just tells him, I got nothing. He's like, what do you want? Here, I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. Mm, I got nothing. Go ahead. I want to touch my hair. Okay. Touch. <laughs> That's so creepy. Uh, these umps have to just <laughs> rub up sweaty, thinning hair. <laughs> it's gross. This is disgusting. If this, <laughs> that's such a, that's part of that ump's job now. That's <laughs> that sucks. And they want to go high and inside with the fastball. And he's been a little wild and really wild and oh, scary, scary, scary. Karen Shack obviously did not mean to do that. He's all nervous. Abreu is down. Entire crowd not having it. And oh, off he goes. Old Tony LaRusa running out to help. Boom, boom. And he doesn't help his player. He says, Perez, get out of here, Perez. Me? What are you mad at me? And LaRusa says, You called the ball in, didn't you? He says, Yeah, I called the ball in. I didn't mean to hit him. And he says, Well, he's wild. Can't be calling balls in when he's throwing balls up high and wild all day anyway. That's what Lurusa said after it. Now, Miguel Cairo's trying to hold Lurusa back. This was kind of a sad image to me. Not sad, but I was like, oh, wow. Like, Cairo's kind of looks like he's holding him up more than holding him back. He's an old man. You didn't even look at me. You didn't even fucking look at me. Fuck you. Bullshit. Um throws him out. Um says, it's not bullshit, Aaron. <laughs> That's not. It's not what happened, Aaron. You know when it's time and Boone's just saying bullshit. No. Not all of them. I don't really know what that means, but Boone's just go, bullshit. That's fucking horse shit, Craig. It's horse shit. It's fucking horse shit. It's fucking horse shit. No, you did not. And he's going to say, the ball landed and you gave him second base. That is not the rule and you fucking know it. Both of you guys got to know that this is fucking wrong. This is wrong. That's the rule. No, it's not the rule. And he's going to tell him, like, the ball landed right fucking there. Oh, trip, don't do it. And he says, right fucking here. Now he's going to go show him where the ball landed. He's going to take his hat off. He says, right there. And you can't see my hat. I'll help you out. Here's my jersey. It landed right there. And now, I mean, look at this manager compared to this manager. Right? This guy, you know, not incredibly that intimidating. So I think Tripp knows exactly what he's doing, using the hat as a prop and the jersey as a prop. And Tripp, I'm not mad at you about it, but I'm just saying you know that when you go hat off and reveal that beautiful bald head and you go jersey off and now you got the tight muscle shirt on, you're a different guy. Anyway, they hot swap belts. The other ump gives him the belt. And as he's putting his belt back on, the manager says something. He says, you're out of here. Just get out of here. Can't deal with you. I'm dealing with my belt. Now the manager's going to run back out, and this is where it gets real good because he's just kind of like, first, I can't read his lips here, but I think he's saying like, what are you doing? You can't, can't umpire without a belt? The whole game's got to stop because you got a belt problem? He's like, what are you doing? And now this other ump's going to try and calm him down. His belt broke. What do you want him to do? He says, well, why did he throw me out of the game? I don't know. What did you say? Huh? What did you say? I don't even know. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to remember what it was. It wasn't even so bad. <laughs> he hits the outside with the fastball way outside, and the umpire says, no, you got it. Strike, and the batter's like, oh, what? No, seriously? Coach, are we going to allow this to happen? Are you serious, ump? Wait, so everyone's just going to let this happen? What? Uh, okay. Yes, we'll do it. Now, I did some scientific research here. The Little League World Series, you're not going to make them stay on the plate. You're going to give them a, you know, usually they give them the black. They give them the black plus a ball off the plate in the Little League World Series. 
And that's fair, and everyone accepts that. So I built a wall of balls here. That's a ball off the plate, and this pitch is way outside. But because it's a bad throw and it hits Turner, they'll call him out for interference, even though he ran as straight as you can possibly run down the line to the back. Now, you might be asking, well, there's a runner's lane over here. Shouldn't he run in there? Well, the base is on this side, and that's what you're going to see his manager get really upset about. What are you doing? This is how he ran, straight to the back. What do you want him to do? Umpire throws him out. He says, well, if you want him to run on that side, then take the goddamn base and put it there. If that's where you want him to run, really good kick. Now, look at the look at the joy he brought these fans. Look at this lady. Hey, look, look, honey, look, honey. Yes, yes, yes. This little kid, oh my God. And then mom covers her face like, oh. And the panic is settling in and we're scared. And we're just very scared. 0-2 pitch. Did he? Did he? They check. And he says he went. And the first base coach is like, are you serious? No. And Gabe Morales says, yeah, he he swung. And the moment that was building gets just taken away from everyone. It's not a, it's not a swing. Just not a swing. He just did an attempt at that. He thought about it for a second. Not a swing. And this guy's like, what? Whoa, what? That's how it's all going to end? Then the ump checks the count and says, what's the count again? It's two and one. Okay, good. Take note of it. Next pitch in the zone. Strike three, you're out. He says, but ump, that's only two strikes. He says, you're right, son. My bad. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Embarrassing myself. Next pitch, strike three. Rings him up again. Double ring out, Lars. Eat it. Guy hates you. Now he's up for his next at bat in the game. First pitch, that's a ball out. No one argues. Next pitch, ooh, nice pitch, Brad. That's a strike. Ump records it as such. We have a one-and-one one count. That pitch, he's going to call a strike three. You're at, nope, strike two, strike two, strike two. And this guy says, hey, there's only two. And this fan says, that's strike number two. Two blue. And he says, ah, shit, I did it again. And that one off the batter's foot. And this one off the batter's arm. And they all point to the first base ump to try and appeal it. And he says, no, he didn't swing. He says, it's a full fucking swing. The batter's looking at him like, hey, man, be cool. Like, I'm kind of in pain. And I don't know, care about me a little bit as a human. And also, I didn't swing. It wasn't a full fucking swing. It hit my wrist before I even swung at all. He goes off. He's hurt. Blyer's all fucking mad, shaking his head. Don Mattingly's going to come take him out of the game. And as he walks off, he's got some stuff he wants to get off his chest, you know, leave it all on the field. He says, that's fucking horse shit. This ump's like, well, yeah, I, I thought it might have swung, but I got to appeal. It's not my call to make. I'm watching the ball. I appeal. Ball, by the way, give me your glove. Let me check to see if you're cheating. This is what he sees. So maybe he sees the bat like like there. And, and he's like, that's a swing. Fucking horse shit. Fucking terrible. Even he fucking said he... Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Gives him the finger. Rarely seen. Middle finger to the ump. Ump says, get out of here. He says, this motherfucker even said he fucking swung. Fuck you. Go. But let's find out how the Blue Jays really felt about it because the first pitch and the blowout, ooh, right between the numbers. Kimura's going to toss the bat, get away from your pitch. He's like, what? It get away from you? Pitcher's like, what? No, I hit you on purpose, dude. The whole thing. Don't you remember? And now Cash, he comes out screaming. When Cash gets hot, he gets hot. Everyone knows that. You need to throw him out of the fucking game. It's that simple. How do you not run this guy for fuck's sake? I mean, come on. He's standing in the box. They called him out before the game. He's thrown at him here. And the umpire is just like, hey, Cash, Cash, new rule. I got to talk to the crew before we throw him out. So you let me do that? And Cash is like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. So he goes and talks to the crew. This guy's like, hey, why haven't they thrown me out yet, man? It's kind of weird. I threw at the guy. Umpires get together. Joe West, what up? And he's like, you got to go. Yeah, you got to go. Yeah, you're out of the game. He goes, I didn't mean to throw it at him. He got away from me. And Joe West is like, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, well, uh, the wrong time for that to happen with all the stuff that's going on, so you got to go. He's like, oh, okay, that makes sense, Mr. West. Thank you very much. And there you have it. That's the best of. If we missed one, leave it in the comments. We got more of these montages coming, and they only exist because the fine folks at Sports Management Worldwide said, hey, we'd love for you to make best of videos. We'll sponsor it. 
in exchange, can you let people know that we got eight week courses? And if anyone wants to be an agent, a coach, a GM, a manager in the sports world, that they can sign up for our courses. We got Mike Matheny's done it. You know, Dan Duquette teaches courses. They got a lot of stuff. So if you want a future in the sports world, go check them out. SMWW.com. Use the discount code JOMBOY for $50 off the course of your choice. From sports betting to esports, sports broadcasting, they have what you know and who you know to get involved with the game you love. 